Hi, this is Mario Marla, Solution Specialist for Microdesk. Today we're going to be looking at one of the new features of Autodesk's InfoWorks 360. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at the Model Builder feature. Now in previous releases, uh, this was available uh, in limited source if you opted in as what we call a technology preview. It has been added as a permanent fixture to the product and has been enhanced. So to utilize this, from your InfoWorks desktop front end, all you need to do is expand the model creation tools and then launch Model Builder. This will open up an interactive map where you can navigate to any given area. You can see there's also different styles. You can look at it through photos, road data, or whatever have you. Now with the previous version, we only had access to the United States. Now you can see we can go most anywhere in the world. So we can navigate to wherever we want to go, or we can simply type in a location. Now, one of the nice things that I like about this is you can actually type in key reference points as well. So if I wanted to, I could type in maybe the Eiffel Tower in Paris, and you'll see that it will find that and zoom into that given location. Now from here, I have the option of choosing what I see on the screen, creating a rectangle defining that area that I, of interest, using a polygon for an irregular shape, or importing a polygonal shape uh, to identify my area. It will go on the internet and it will download as much available content as it can find for terrain information, aerial photogrammetry, as well as GIS data defining roadways and water bodies and whatever have you. So all you need to do is give your model a name. And so I'll call it Eiffel Tower. And then you can identify who's going to have access to what to this, which group you've identified that is going to be able to utilize this model. And then hit Create Model. It's going to let you know that it is preparing your model. Now this is a cloud-based service, so it's building it for you on the internet. And with your 360 login, uh, it will email you and notify you when your model has been created. If you are not utilizing your email at that time, or if you're already working in your InfoWorks, you can just wait a few minutes and it will appear here on your front end. You can see I've actually done it a couple times. And you'll see an option to download your model. Now, the first time you download it, it'll take a few minutes depending upon your internet connection speed and the size of the project you've identified. But uh, it will bring it in and then it'll generate the model and then clean it up uh, to the best of its ability. So I've already processed one of these, so I'm just gonna go back to my model area and you can see this is what it did generate for me. So it does have the terrain, aerial imagery, uh, whatever GIS data it seemed to have found. So I have lots of various data on road information. You can see I even got building information, water bodies, things like that. And the Eiffel Tower obviously is not going to come in on its own. The model builder won't bring in unique models for that. But uh, what it will do is it will populate it with whatever models it can find. And then you can simply use your model resources uh, online to go and drop in uh, downloaded versions of whatever models that uh, you might see necessary for the design and the project you're creating. So as you can see, this saves a lot of time in the initial model creation. And you can actually see I just got an email saying that my Infrax model is ready. So, uh, great new feature. I'm glad it's now part of the product and hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.